Hey guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. So today I'm playing around uh, testing out the, the actual capacity of my uh, tank sizes in my RV. So I'm going to start with the freshwater tank here and then I'll check the three waste tanks. Um, this is supposed to handle 60 gallons so I got my uh, rain wave water meter here and we'll fill up the tank until it's pouring out and see how much I actually can put in there. I ran it down with the water pump till, till no more water was coming out and the pump was run dry. So I thought it would be a cool test. Um, also in case someone doesn't know what their tank sizes are, can't find the model numbers or anything, it's, a, it's kind of a way to, to check your tank size. Also to see if there's a lot of debris in your tank. Maybe it, it's got all kinds of built up toilet paper or whatever and maybe your tank, tank capacity has been reduced because of that. So here we go, we're at 14.5 gallons, let's keep filling her up. Okay, we're at 36 gallons, 37 gallons, this is also a good way if you just want to add a certain amount of water for travel. Say you have a 60 gallon tank but you only want to put 20 gallons in for uh, just for traveling, you don't want to carry max weight. Okay, so it started backing up on me at 53.2 gallons. So I'm not getting the full 60 gallons of the tank effectively. And um, I know when the water pump runs out of steam, there's still quite a bit of water left in the tank because I have opened the, the low point drains before and drained it and quite a bit of water still comes out. So just where the water pump inlet is situated, it doesn't quite get all of the, the water. Now this is going to vary how level your rig is like maybe we're slightly off one way or the other we're pretty level here but say you were kinda leveled off one way the water's gonna tip in the tank but uh, interesting so let's go and do the black tank next okay here I must might as well get a nice black tank flush in at the same time so we'll let that go up till the toilet is burping and see what we got Well folks, I'm kind of glad that I did this experiment because once I started filling these tanks to the max max level I found two leaks. Oh, uh oh. Anyway, this is the gray tank. I'm on the driver's side back corner right near the valves and stuff and I got some dribbles coming out of there once the tank reached capacity and you can see right in that corner there's actually a crack. You can see where the, the water dribbled down here. And then I thought, oh great, got a cracked tank. Went on to the black. Same thing over here on the other side. You can see it in there, but right on the corner as well. I was getting dribbles and there is a definite crack up in that corner. At least they're right at the top of the tanks, so I can still sort of use them until I figure out how to fix these. Well, I better consult the supervisor on this. What the heck am I going to do, Angie? Well, you could ask your YouTube audience for some advice. Maybe they can give you some tips on fixing those tanks. Good idea, Angie. Maybe do some research on the internet and watch some other videos of tank repairs. That's why you're the supervisor. Here you go. Anyway folks, if anybody has any advice on that, well, let me know in the comments. Till next time, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Cheers folks.